I am Dr. Matthew Edenarese Obo. I'm a lecturer of physics in the Department of Science Laboratory Technology, Auchi Polytechnic Auchi, here in Edo State. Well, um, a father is the head of the family. A father is the priest of his household. A father is the sole provider for both the family, for both the wife and the children. You know, the father takes up all responsibility. He's there at, at inception. He's there when they are growing up. He's there when they are married. He's there when they start um, having grandchildren. So the role of a father is not something one can easily uh, uh, toy with. It's a very serious responsibility that has been bestowed on all men by God. So uh, that is it. A father is, is, is just that. Well, uh, from my experience, you, you find that, that uh, the first thing first, you know, you have to identify where the child's interest lies from the very beginning and then try as much as possible to nurture the child uh, towards that particular area. Putting into consideration the system of education that we run in Nigeria uh, so that uh, you don't uh, end up confusing the child. Once you identify the area of interest, you try as much as possible to, 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 to support the child in everything that he or she needs. Whether the child is science-oriented, cre into creative arts, or into uh, other forms of uh, uh, discipline. So once you identify that, you tailor your interest towards that and then try as much as possible to be a guide. You know, your role is to be a guide, to complement whatever they do in school and whatever she learns online or uh, through the internet. Uh, that, that's just it. Well, if you are in the academics, you must, it's not something that is strange. You must be faced with challenges, most especially if you are research oriented. Because most times when you do some of these, um, when you have some of these challenges that has to do with researches and so on and so forth, you find that, that um, some of the results you get might not be exactly the correct one. So it's like when, when you are faced with challenges and you are faced with failure, the first thing you do, identify those failures and those challenges. Once you identify them, then you go back and then try again. It's like trying over and over again until you get the, the, the possible result. I remember in those days when we were in school, when you do when we you know when we do this chemistry experiment, this titration thing, at times you 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 perform your titration experiment and you find out that, that uh, you are not getting the actual result. That does not mean that you don't know. Uh, you don't know what you're doing, but rather you have to go back, look at the areas where you feel you, you, you did not do well or where you feel you did not take into consideration, make those corrections, go back and then do it. So it's like if, if you fail, pick up the, your, 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 yourself and then continue from where you, you stop. That does it. Yes, it has to do with discipline. Number one, there are three things. Number one, it is discipline. Number two, it is discipline. And number three, it is discipline. Why I say so is simple. You know, first of all, as a child of God or as a Christian, you, you find that, that um, there are a lot of things that is expected of you by the church, by God, and by the society. So, and in doing that, you must identify those things that, conf that, that conforms with your, with your beliefs. Uh -huh. And once you identify them, you try as much as possible to, you know, uh, uh, balance them. You don't say because you're, a, a, you're, you're working and then you neglect your responsibility at home. No, you can't say because you're, 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 you're working, you, you neglect your responsibility in, the work, in your workplace. So you must try as much as possible to look at both sides, you know, and then find a threshold that's a, a, a meeting point where neither your job or your work will be affected and you must also uh, remember that look the one of the reasons why we work is to provide for our family if you can't balance these two properly you find that, that you end up uh, having so many problems either you're neglecting the home front or your work is also will also be having some problems so that is it balance the two and uh, find a meeting point where neither of the two um, is neglected but the same attention you give to a you must give to b Well, for fathers, I think the first thing you have to do is you must try as much as possible to be your child's friend. Because when I say friend, you must you must give them that opportunity to be able to say and to, to discuss and to say whatever they want to say before you. It helps a lot. Uh -huh. You know, in those days where we were growing up, we were brought up in a regimental uh, 
uh, environment where uh, um, uh, your, my, your father's word is, is law. But this day, yes, your father's word is law, but at least uh, put a human face to it so that these children will have access to you. When they come, when they, face, when they are faced with problems, they are not scared of coming to you. Instead of going outside to meet uh, people outside to find out and to get solution to an issue, they will feel very, very comfortable to come to before you and tell you whatever it is. Whether the children, whether, whether you, are, you are a parent with male children or mixture or female children, try as much as possible to be friendly and above all, try as much as possible also to make sure that your entire household as a family is close to God. Because I think that is it. Uh, when, you, when, you, when, when the family knows God and they know what is entailed of, their, of them, you find that, that um, it, it will be easy. So those are the two things. Know God. Your family should know God. And secondly, as a father, you should try as much as possible to be friendly and make yourself accessible to your children. I'm using this opportunity to wish all fathers all over the world happy Father's Day. I pray that God should empower us to be able to deliver on all our responsibilities. Thank you.